I am just a guy of whom several refer to as Mr. Beat, and I'm standing here in the American state of Arkansas. And yes, how you see it on the screen right now is actually how they spell it. But why do they spell it that way? And now I'm in the American state of Kansas, and behind me is the Arkansas River. And what you see on the screen is also the correct spelling. But hold up, because many in Colorado call this river the Arkansas River. So not only is there an Arkansas River, there's also, come here, an Arkansas City. They just call it Ark City here in Kansas. Ark City. So what is going on here? Why is it pronounced Arkansas here and Arkansas everywhere else? Simply put, it comes down to how both first got their names. Arkansas got its name from the French. Kansas got its name from English-speaking Americans. In the 1500s, when the French arrived in North America in modern-day Kansas and Arkansas, oops, I mean Arkansas, they encountered two particular American Indian tribes. The first tribe, some Siouan-speaking folks who lived along the modern-day Kansas River, which they called the Kansa, and the second tribe, more commonly known today as the Quapaw, who lived along the modern day Arkansas or Arkansas River. The French called them by their Algonquin name, Akanza. However, over time, future visitors to the area further complicated things by writing down different things when trying to document the rivers and areas these two tribes lived in. The Kansa were also called the Kantha, Kansies, Kanza, Kazas, Kans, and Kansies. Eventually, Kansa one out, yes, probably due to more English-speaking folks moving out there. Oh, and the plural of Kanza? Kansas! And those English speakers pronounce the S at the end of words by golly. Meanwhile, the French name of the Quapaw, Akanza, won out for some reason. Oh, and the plural of Akanza? A Kansas. But those French speakers didn't pronounce the S at the end of words, so it was just a Kansa. But wait a second, where is the R, that mysterious R? Well, no one knows for sure how or why the R was added to make it Arkansas, but one theory is that the Akanza used this awesome bow for hunting, and the French might have been really impressed with it. The French word for bow is arc, so maybe the French explorers being all impressed with their bows influenced their pronunciation. Another theory suggests that since the Arkansas or Arkansas River arcs a lot, let's call it Ark. Arkansas. Regardless, even after both Kansas and Arkansas officially joined the United States, there were apparently a lot of people still arguing about how to pronounce Arkansas or Arkansas. Both the river and the state. The Arkansas people even sometimes spelled it Arkansas to promote their beloved pronunciation. But you know how stubborn people are about pronunciations. Some of the most vicious comments on my channel, in fact, are from people horribly offended by how I pronounce words. Anyway, even the first two U.S. Senators of Arkansas, Chester Ashley and Ambrose Sevier, argued over the pronunciation. In 1881, the Arkansas legislature finally settled the matter once and for all, declaring that the state's name should be spelled like this, but pronounced like this. So if you mispronounce Arkansas and Arkansas, you, you are, are breaking the law, son. Arkansas is the only state to pass a law like this, by the way. So, both spelled similarly, but both having wildly different pronunciations, and now you know why. Like many things in North America, it comes down to the conflicting legacy of both the French and English. For the record, both pronunciations are correct, but feel free to argue about it in the comments. So which pronunciation do you like better? I personally like Arkansas better since I'm from Kansas and it's Arkansas, not yours. Get it? Anyway, let me know in the comments. And here's my monthly shout out to all my Patreon supporters who donate at least 15 bucks or more each month to my channel. Wow! Starting with my biggest donors at the George Washington level, Alicia Solberg, Andrew B., Austin Ceros, 
Brady Bardwell, Dr. Paul J. Lilly, Elijah Ellis, Matt Standish, Nick Everett, Sean Connett, Pat Iapika, I think I pronounced that right, and Will Scruggs. At the Dwight Eisenhower level, I've got Andrew Snyder, Anthony Beckett, Brian Layton, Christian Ojeda, Grant Hughes, Ian Driscoll, Elon Capone, Jack L., Jack Richardson, Jacob Birnbaum, Joel Serrano Lozada, John Johnson, Justin Holt, Kit Walker, Kyle Fazbinder, Lee Fortier, Naderay, Osbers Gaming, Robert Reichel, Samuel Striz, Thomas Oppenheim, Thomas, Victor Martinez, Waterfort, Werner69, William Rausch, and Zachary F. Parker. Thank you all. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching.